Welcome back, Familia. You got Christina here. And today, I want to talk about a reel that we recently posted that basically went viral. It actually ended up getting over 2 million views across all three of our platforms in a really short period of time. Now, although the reel got a lot of positive feedback from many of our viewers, there were some negative comments that came through. Today, I wanna to set the record straight about that reel. But first, let's get something to eat out here at the Makati Street Eats in the Ayala Triangle Gardens. Let's go. Good morning, kitties. As we step into Makati's busy central business district, the air is thick with a symphony of sizzling, aromatic scents and even a little bit of pop music. But our tummies are still rumbling, so we've got to get something to eat and a nice cold beverage to beat the ever-present heat and humidity. And of course, mommy's getting mango and one peach buble. Thank you. Of course, Kuya wants chicken isao, so we have to stop and make sure we get some for him. A true street food gem from the heart of the Philippines, chicken isao is not for the faint of heart. Imagine slender skewers of marinated chicken intestines grilled to perfection over open flames. It might not be for everyone, but for those willing to embrace the adventure, Chicken Isao is an unforgettable journey into the heart of authentic local flavors. I just love how it's chewy yet tender at the same time. It's almost a rubbery texture, so savory along with the vinegar. It's super sour and grilled just perfectly. The Makati Street Eats is hosted here at the Ayala Triangle Gardens. This area was once home to Manila's pre-World War II airport known as Nielsen Fields. Next up, takoyaki. Makeshift stalls line the streets here, each displaying an array of mouth-watering delights. All right, so my parents decided to have the people who made my isao extra toasty and crispy, but it's kind of overcooked now. I like my isao just the way it is, rubbery. Look at the cat checking out dad. It wants food. Ooh, I'm hot and sweaty. Today I have here mini strawberry pancakes. Oh, that is so soft. So good. Best pancakes I have had ever. Hey cats, go on. Cat we want to eat our food in peace. I know, kitty. I'm sorry. You're going to have to go away, though. I'm trying to steal our food from behind. Just Stay, but I don't know if we can stay here. After we casually got invaded by cats, we had to move here at Starbucks. So my hands are super greasy right now, but this is what I ended up getting, some shrimp, gambas, and some rice. Java rice, Java rice. And then I think in here we've got some squid fries, basically calamari. Ooh, yeah. And then the kids, what'd you guys have? <laughs> oh yeah, what'd you eat? Any pancakes. Oh. What kind of pancakes? Strawberry. Oh, strawberry, pancakes. that's right. Kuya just finished What did you get, Isao, but you said it was too tough though, huh? Yeah. Let's see your cheesecake that you got for dessert. Are you ready for dessert? Yeah. So recently YouTube started uh, pushing out shorts to the audience. So we chose to evolve a little bit in what we were putting out and we wanted to share more shorts with our viewers. And so since we don't have a lot of material, I guess, for shorts, like on a standalone basis, we decided to use some videos that we already had and just take clips from within those. And we decided to take this um, old video from last year and basically I put it into an AI software and the AI spit out a bunch of different videos for me to choose from. And that one was the top one in the AI list. So pretty much for the sake of being able to add content to the shorts library, I went ahead and I posted that particular short. And so because of that, we actually ended up getting a lot of anniversary greetings, even though it wasn't our actual anniversary. So essentially, the reel itself kind of blew up on Facebook. And there were a lot of really sweet, wonderful comments that happened um, from Facebook. There was still some negative, but 
definitely not as much as what happened on Instagram. So I would say maybe about a couple days after um, it started to, I guess, hit a plateau on Facebook, it started to get up a lot higher on Instagram. And it seemed to be that audience was really displeased with my choice of words that I used in that particular reel. So we had a lot of negative comments that actually came from that one. And so basically with all of that, I really just sort of want to add some additional clarification to that reel. But first, I want to get something to eat and reintroduce the audience to my Filipino husband, Brian. They call them squid fries. It's basically like calamari. But they're really good, they're super tender, which is hard to find sometimes. Like calamari or squid, it's always like very hit or miss for me. These are delicious. I need some vinegar. Hey, baby. Yeah. How's your food? What'd you order? Shrimp uh, gambas. It's good. Just a bit greasy. Kaysen clearly doesn't get his ability to review food from you, huh? No, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes right uh, now, though. All right, let me I need a, spray you first. I need a spray. Look, can I see that real quick? Our favorite. Where do we go? We never leave home without our bite block. Okay, baby, can you reintroduce yourself to our audience? Okay. Who are you? <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Christina's husband. No, I don't want to be known as Christina's husband because I have my own individual, you know. You're the cameraman. Character. Yeah, actually, it's funny you say that. Uh, we, we usually meet people out, you know, walking around BGC. And then, you know, subscribers will come up, you know, followers, supporters, and say, hey, Christina, can we take a picture, whatever? And then uh, they'll see me right there, and then they'll ask Christina, hey, where's your husband? And then when she tells them that it points to me, they're like surprised for yeah. whatever reason. How about him? He's also. This uh, is my fellow, cameraman. I'm this cameraman. <laughs> is he Filipino? Yes, yes. My, yeah, my husband. Hey! Yes. Uh, Yes. So anyways. I guess I don't show you enough on the vlog. No, so what were you saying? So what was the question? So you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sort of. So who am I? So born and raised in Manila. I uh, moved to California back in the 90s and have been there ever since. Uh, we moved here last year. So I think I think maybe I have that unique, there is that word again. Don't unique. use that word I can't anymore. use that word. That's what we got in trouble for. <laughs> I have that perspective where I straddle the line of both sides. Right? Yes, I'm born and raised here, but I also grew up in America, in the States. So I, I understand the culture here a little bit, but I also understand the culture in U.S. as well. So except from the voiceovers that you might hear in our vlogs, pretty much uh, what I say is really like on the fly. And I kind of think that's what happened in this scenario. In, because when I say things on the fly, I just kind of say whatever comes to mind, and sometimes I can get misunderstood. Um, and I used a specific word, you just brought it up a second ago, uh, that really seemed to resonate with our audience. And here's a prime example, I just did it again right now. Um, I think what I said, it didn't necessarily, wasn't that it resonated with the audience, it struck a nerve with quite a few people. And um, I actually had a friend tell me that I, I used a trigger word for a lot of people. Which was? I said I was unique. Okay, and what did you really mean to say? Oh my gosh. Well, what, well, what is, let's say, let's me ask this. What is the Webster, <laughs> Webster, we, we, what is we it? We looked up Miriam, the definition. Miriam Webster yeah. definition in, uh, synonyms of unique. Okay, so I think the fastest, easiest way in terms of definition, if you look it up, the first thing that comes up is one of a kind. Um, but synonyms that go along with it would be uncommon, which is what I was really trying to focus on. Um, I think we are more or less uncommon, especially in the environment that we're currently in. One. All right, Robo, get off the daddy so he can talk. That's okay, he's fine. You're so, good. So I'm probably back with, but I think <clears throat> I was going to add to that, if, if any of you guys watched Joe Koi's like first uh, special, uh, within like the first five minutes of him talking about it, you know, doing his skit, he talks about him being half Filipino, half white. You know, multi comes from a multicultural family, is a multi multicultural family. But he jokes about the stereotype that because I'm half white and half Filipino, that automatically makes his dad a U.S. American military personnel. So just like Joe Koi and his family, we are multicultural. But I think what I was trying to explain to people is that we are the opposite of that in that because I am an American female 
and he's a Filipino man, it's just, it's different. And I think that's what I meant by using that term. Um, more often than not, both here and in the U.S., I would mostly see like foreigner men married to or dating or just, you know, with a Filipina. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I mean, for me, love is love. Love whoever you want. Um, so I, I meant no disrespect. I wasn't trying to like strike a nerve with anybody um, in, in, I guess, terming us as being unique because I think everybody is in their own sense in their own way. Oh, this one's a hard topic to discuss. I really don't like breaking it down. Okay, so I have to ask you, because I don't think I've even asked you about this this whole time. How did reading some of the negative comments make you feel? I understood where they were coming from. I don't know. I didn't care about the negative comments and stuff because uh, perhaps they were valid based on their own interpretation. My turn to ask me the same question. Yeah, so how did, how did that make you feel when you saw the negative comments? Oh, it irritated me, and I know it shouldn't. Um, generally, it doesn't, because we do get negative comments from time to time. I mean, we've had people actually say negative things about Kaysen on Kaysen's Kaysen, Instagram. People have been rude there. Um, so I think I've got thick skin. Most of the time, it doesn't bother me. But there were a couple of instances where I just got frustrated because I didn't really understand how what I said was so easily misunderstood. Um, well, it was in the dictionary, so from what they, their knowledge of the word unique means one of a kind. Perhaps. They, they didn't, I guess, m maybe the other meanings of the word unique was not at the forefront of their mind. Quite possibly. I don't know. I don't ever like to assume. Um, I don't think it's fair. So that's a lot of times why I say what I say, how I say it, because that's just how I interpret it. And I'm glad, I'm very grateful that Brian has learned over the last 16, nearly 17 years now, how to understand what I actually mean when I'm speaking. But I think I forget sometimes that yeah, I'm talking to a camera. I'm talking to a whole other audience out there in the world. I'm not just talking to my husband because that's who I see. When I'm actually talking into the camera, it's as if I'm talking to him. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm not going to let it bother me, put it that way. How do you feel about the negative comments on your Instagram? I just wish everyone was a nicer human being. Um, we're going somewhere and we just asked the guard here and he was very kind to show us where we're going. Except I don't know where we're going. <laughs> so much. So close. Really, except we just run the thing. Over that way. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. So we just asked the guard inside the shops over here at Ayala um, how to get to the peninsula because we want to go check out this Maarte uh, fest that is happening over here. And the guard was so sweet. He was so kind. He actually walked us pretty much halfway here um, and pointed out where it was. So it's right back over here. So let's go check out the peninsula. All right, so I really, really hope that that adds enough clarification for everybody. I know there's going to be people out there who are going to say negative things. It's just the way it is. It's the way the world is. But like Kaysen said earlier, we all just need to learn to be better, kinder, nicer humans to each other. What do you think of this place, you guys? No, you. What do you, what think, do you think of, of it? Place? Oh, you said, what do you think? No, what do yeah, you what think? do you think? I thought you meant that I tell the viewers what they thought of this place. <laughs> I think this place is awesome. It's giant. This is too grand for me. Hey, honey, you know my birthday's coming up, right? Yes. So we are just sitting inside the lobby at the hotel right now waiting for some friends actually who are going to come and join us and check out um, the Marte exhibit with us. Hey look, we got friends. Hey! <laughs> and we're about to walk into the Rigodon Ballroom. Look at, I love this. I love the cotton fabric. The feel of these items, they're beautiful. Wow, it is so incredibly busy in here. 
There's so many people, but there's so many beautiful pieces that folks have to share. Like we have different weaving. I just talked to a blanket maker over here that uh, works with weavers out of La Union. And I'm just really absolutely like impressed by all of this stuff. Here is Dita. Hi, look so her. Hello, this is my Your Your piece you said is hand embroidered. It's beautiful. These are so awesome. And these handbags, these are beautiful. Ate, where do you have these made? Mindanao. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at this terno. Maganda. I am in love. I need one of these. I have a fascination with stars, like so much that they're tattooed on my back. I love it. They're beautiful. The Ma'arte Fair showcases a splendid fusion of artistry, craftsmanship, and creativity. Celebrating the Philippines' rich cultural heritage, the fair features a diverse array of meticulously crafted products ranging from traditional textiles and intricate hand-woven handbags to contemporary artworks and modern designs. I like this one back here, this big one, this black one. Yeah, with like the pattern. Oh no! Anokoba. Oh my god, no! It's in tan! I like the tan! Where's Brian? I need my. I was just telling Monica, I have like a big hat problem, a shoe problem, and a purse problem. And the kids are always getting on my case because I always want hats, shoes, and purses. And this is the worst place to be right now because they have so many cute hats and shoes and purses. There's a turtle. Okay. Is that a dog or a goat? A dog. A dog. I smell yummy candles. Mm. And now we're moving on to the other side. And then also on the fifth and seventh floor here, they have more exhibits as well. This is amazing. The attention to detail on something like this is absolutely beautiful. I just, I love it. Look at how fun that is. One thing to know here, uh, well, first of all, I think I was walking around without my microphone on for a while there, sorry. Uh, but the other thing is there's a cashier in one spot. So there's one local cashier, they give you like a purchase order. You go down to the cashier, purchase your product, and then you take it back um, and they give it to you. So that's the only like thing to remember. If you're buying things, you gotta like grab multiple receipts, pay all at once, and then go back up. It's not me. The microphone is turning off on its own. I think because the battery is low. Let's go through. So the thing is, the fifth and the seventh floor have additional vendors. So we're going to walk through. I have a friend who is presenting here on the seventh floor, so we're going to go check out her booth. Okay, I'm going to sneak in here. Hey, look. I'm actually going to get to see my beautiful Hi. flower arrangement I did the other day. Hi, How's Mitch. How are you? Look at all that. This mm. came out so good. I love it. It's beautiful. My microphone keeps dying. Look at all these beautiful swimsuits in here. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I want this one right here. Mitch, I want this hat. Whoa, this is so cool. I love this. You made white walls, just very... I really want to build a rage room in BGC. Yeah, me too, me too. I don't know if this is starting to become the norm now, but obviously it's a new day, and I failed to finish up the vlog the other day. I also failed to properly introduce our friends Al and Monica, so hopefully you'll be able to see them on a future vlog episode. And please make sure you go check out Monica's podcast called The Eavesdrop with her friends Delamar Arias and Jelly Victor and Jude Rocha. I will make sure to include it in the video description below. I hope that this video provides some additional clarification and I really appreciate all of the positive feedback from the viewers and I'm so excited to learn that there are many other families and couples like us out there in the world. As always, Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Salamat, inigat till next time. You wasting battery. You turn it on. Yeah. All the music's out. Wow. Ooh, sauce is long. Wee, sauce is long. 
hide and seek. Now I shall look for Mini Moose. Where is Mini Moose? This is BTS. This is quality BTS. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Don't. He is the natural mini moose. We are filming from a very safe distance where he can't see us whatsoever. This is his mating ritual where he points at random things. No. I barely survived the deadly mini moose. It's right there. No, he sees me. Run. <laughs> no. The deadly mini moose. This may be the end, people. The mini moose has got me. No way. Molly, where's your review on this Starbucks tree? I like this Starbucks here. Good to know. Hold on. Did you know part. that black, pink, and Starbucks are collabing? I heard. I love you, Mubby. You, baby. I love you, more. I love you, Moose. I love you, boy. Uh, talk about can you what? Give me a pack. Casey, I'm I'm your J's. I'm creasing your J's. I don't think people want to see that, bro. Yo, where's the camera? Oh, where's it pointing at? Was pointing at me. Cool. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He's hating me. Oh. Oh, please. 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 Trust me. Oh.